Hello, this is Lavender Lightworker. I'm going to be doing um, February the 1st to the February the 15th, 2023 for Gemini Collective. All sign placements. Um, watch your rising sign, your moon sign, your sun sign. Um, I personally watch my north node. It helps me. Um, if you want your Venus, do you. But um, And if you don't know how to find those things, um, go on Google. It'll show you how. <laughs> um, all right. So, Gemini. Um, I got this download about somebody holding your check or your taxes. Um, I, I'm not sure if it's, like, long time or just... Just some, I just saw something about them. Tempor a temporary hold on a check, um, some type of money coming in, or your taxes um, from work, or I don't know who. Somebody's holding on to your money and you're waiting. You're like, damn, you're like, this is taking a long time. Um, let me clear this energy too, by the way. But yeah, Jimmy, I, I see for some of you, oh wow, you're off balance. And I, I see a lot of you need to center yourself, breathe, don't overthink, okay, I'm going to say just love, and um, like I said, that's not, oh, by the way, take what's for you and leave what's not for you and, and that doesn't resonate for someone else, this is a collective reading, it's not meant to be for every single person that watches, okay, and also, um, if nothing resonates, this wasn't meant for you. So just click off and come back and check in a future read or go watch one of the other signs, okay? But that was for random Gemini placements, whoever you are. I see somebody's holding your money, um, possibly for child support. So maybe your whole child support, um, maybe your income tax check got taken. Um, that's for a few of you, or if it's just work, whatever. But that's not what the reading's about. That was just a, a random download. Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you already knew this anyway. Um, all right. So what does my Gemini's need to know about, from February the 1st to the 15th? Okay. Boom. Off top. Oh, God. That's like pretty much what I fucking just said. Okay, so the Empress, which is uh, represents um, abundance and a mother. And then we have the Four of <laughs> Pentacles, which shows somebody holding money, time, and energy, holding on for their dear life. They got the city in the background. And then we have the Emperor, which these are a perfect match. And the Emperor represents the father. And then we have the Four of um, Cups, which shows someone either A, not taking this offer or cup of feelings or intuition or whatever this is in this cup. They're, they're not taking it or they don't see it or um, they're, because their arms are closed, they're, they're in resistance. Something's... Whatever the case, they don't get the cup. Obviously, they don't get the cup. Their hands ain't open. Now, did I did or not just say I had a download about this, the, the third, and you saw how this came out, the mother and the father. But we're moving past that because we're not going to stay in the energy. What else does my Gemini collective need to hear? <laughs> Sometimes I laugh at stuff like that. You know, I feel like this was supposed to go here. Um... I'm seeing this Knight of Pentacles as being, it's taking a long time, okay? Somebody's holding on to something. It's taking a long time. Whatever's going on between these two, this offer that's not being received or rejected, it's just taking a really long time. Somebody's holding on and... It's just taking a long time. Somebody's holding on forever. I'm gonna, this is going to get deeper. And then the temperance is divine timing and patience and balancing out. So this empress is um, having a lot, have a lot of patience and um, 
balance in this situation. What else does my Gemini's need to see? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. No, 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 no. Actually, I'm going to grab another deck. I'm going to switch it up. And then, boom, there's that Emperor Energy again, which also represents strong boundaries. I'm also seeing, like, some type of, like, um, and then, you know, waiting a long time. Boom. Um, having patience. There's a lot, some people are having a lot of patience. Something taking a long time, Gemini. Um, put this where it goes. By the way, this is gender neutral. If I say she or he, you put it where it goes, okay? Um, somebody, somebody's like holding out and being so stubborn about, uh, and it's coming in between this emperor and empress energy. It, it, it's let's see why though like show me more why is it taking so long for this the empress and the emperor are the highest you can get they're higher than the kings and the queens they embody all four kings and queens well the empress embodies all four kings and queens the emperor embodies all four kings in the deck but who is this dude in the middle that wants to be stingy with this time money and energy and keep them apart it's like this is what's keeping them apart they're so powerful together because because he doesn't want to take an offer because he's refusing he wants to somebody wants to be very slow okay okay so this person here doesn't want to take this offer because they like they like all the offers they're in the clouds and that's what's blocking this emperor this emperor okay this four of cups is doesn't want to take this cup because it this per it's like this person's scared of this queen of wands. It's like this person's scared of, of this queen of wands confidence um, and the fact that she can manifest things so quickly. Um, it's like this person is scared of her power. So he's holding them for dear life and putting all his time, money and energy into making sure that they that this divine union doesn't happen. And he's rather look like, no, I'm cool. She's too powerful. I'm gonna block it. I'd rather I'd rather look at all these options that could harm me. Show me more. Come on, Gemini. What is, oh my God. And it's like, it's good. there's gonna have to be a decision to make. Woo, the tower, baby. Aha, we got a tower moment. All right, that changes everything. What is, so so after all of this is said, is said and done, there's gonna be a tower moment. And now tower moments aren't always bad. They're not always good, but tower moment is something shocking that happens suddenly that is like a rev it's like an epiphany, like, oh shit, okay. What's this tower moment? Planning, waiting. What's this tower moment? Show me more. Manifesting. What's this tower moment? Gemini, what's going on with y'all? What's this tower moment? Still juggling. I'm seeing uh, manifesting. Okay, I'm seeing that possibly Gemini or someone is like gonna have this epiphany to to make a trip happen, some type of um, vacation or. Um, even if it's just like a road trip or like, hey, do you want to ride with me or some shit like that? That's weird. Um, but they both represent 
travel or planning to travel. Show me more. Except somebody's somebody's been watching either Gemini or Gemini's been watching someone. And also I'm seeing that like there's just a lack of mature communication as well. Which oh my god, Gemini. Seriously. It's the bottom deck we got the Empress again. Obviously the Emperor and the Emperor so the Emperor showed up twice, not the Empress showed up twice. So what I'm gonna say, Gemini, is that whatever this reading is about, you know what it is in your life. But there are two whether and you know, this is obviously about you, hopefully. You're either the emperor or the empress and everything that is supposed to come divinely to your life to that belongs to you. I see some decisions and someone living in their ego and just take and just taking time for granted. Not you know, being scared. Um and at some point, you're going to have to make a decision because I feel like this empress and this emperor belong together, even if it's for just work, for friendship, for a divine reason. There might be, I'm making some shit up, but maybe they're supposed to save the world or save somebody. It doesn't matter what the, the reason they're supposed to, but someone's stopping them from being together because they're scared. And then boom, the tower comes, which means... All that shit underneath, might, might as well knock it out. And then a decision is going to be made. And let's see. So, you know, this empress, you know, there's going to be some kind of fast communication. Um, a big surprise is coming. Um, an Im maybe an apology or an immature offer of just something immature. You have a strength, something's traveling. I see happiness and a new start coming. And I see someone being, you know, they were stubborn before and then they're going to be willing to take that. Um, all right. But I want to know more. I can't. I can't. I need to know more about this Three of Swords. Look, and then someone being like, content with those nine cups instead of getting to the ten cups so what what about this magician in the tower what are they what is the what's gonna what's gonna manifest what's gonna manifest with this magician in the tower for my gemini's what's gonna manifest what are they waiting to manifest after this tower moment happens They're manifesting fate. Um, another another chance to spin the wheel. And another another chance for both parties to actually have free will to make a decision to either move forward or backwards. They're manifesting another chance. Fate, basically, um, basically, Gemini, I don't know what you got going on and what what you or someone else has been playing games and and blocking or what what roadblocks have been going on. But this tower moment, so there's gonna be an epiphany and all that shit's gonna get cleared out. You're gonna get a chance to rebuild with with whatever the situation is. You put it where it is. Work, um, family love dating you put it where it is um but i'm about to find out but fate is here you're gonna get a faded option and you're manifesting show me more let me use a different deck what is gemini what is, for my gemini remember this is february the first to the 15th what what does my gemini need to know 
about this manifestation and this will of fortune. Um, that you're manifesting to have another chance to spin the wheel that you decided to not listen to fate the last time and be happy. And that made you feel, it, it left a burden. It, it was a burden. It was a burden that um, it's been heavy on you. You're ready to move things forward. It was a burden on you that you didn't take a chance um, when it was supposed to. It's finally hit you. Okay, what is this three of... What is this three of... Three of... Three of... Um, swords. And it shows the lovers, which is the Gemini's. Is that Queen of Wands again? The one that somebody was scared of? So I'm seeing some... Okay, this one flipped on its own. The Knight of Wands. So I went from moving slow to... Okay, so... Give me one more for this th three. Yeah. <laughs> Something went from being really, really slow and scared to move... Uh, regarding this um, Queen of Wands that this person was, like I said, like intimidated by for whatever reasons, to um, the, them forming a partnership, it fast communication, the truth, um, fast communication, the truth, you know, fast texting, communication, um, and. There will be no more third party or this per or just this whole situation is going to heal altogether. What is the advice for my Gemini's? What is the overall advice for my Gemini's, please? And thank you. Okay. Um, everything is fine. Let go of the past and whatever th negative thoughts that you had. Obviously, look, these things are in your back, um, but you're in your phone. You're like, everything's fine. The advice is for someone to um, understand that this pain can't hurt them anymore. It's over. The worst is over. And now here comes the, here comes the, the healing and the, like, this is like a, a miracle's coming. There's a miracle coming for you guys, Gemini. Like, this tower moment is actually a miracle. It's going to be an epiphany. You're going to be like, what? I wasn't expecting that. It's almost like one of those cliffhangers, like, where you had your mindset, and this is what it is, and what this is what it ain't, and then, boom, shit changed. Um, and you're going to leave this pain in this past, and a miracle is going to happen. Wish fulfillment and new love, baby. New intuition, baby. You, you know what? You might have to drop some tears, pour some tears about something that hurt you in the past. But you got to move forward. And then there we got the magician again. Yep, the magician. You, and the empress again. I can't make this shit up. I'm done, Gemini. Let the empress and the emperor get together. Period. All right. Thank you. Um... Put in the comments how this resonates. Um, and if you'd like a personal reading, um, it's in the description below. Uh, lavenderlightworker at AOL.com. All right, Gemini.